Rural Ghazipur, Bangladesh, the demand for solar electricity in villages that have no grid connection is soaring as people realize it's the only reliable option. Though it's free to run, the initial investment at around £160 is high. Now a name well known in microcredit is leading the way in low-cost loans for sustainable energy. Grameen Shukti, the energy division of the Grameen Bank, offers low-cost loans, making renewable energy available to everyone. There is in Bangladesh 140 million, in the future it will be 150 million people. So we have to feed them by food, feed them by energy, so there is a huge uh, potential and especially renewable energy. The problem we face initially, the people have, have to pay upfront cash, but people don't have that kind of resources. So we develop a financial mechanism process. Grameen Shukti has installed more than 65,000 solar home systems in rural Bangladesh, more than anyone else. Sometimes just getting there is a challenge, but it's worth it. The village of Padapara, at its centre, is this tea shop. There is a solar home system and uh, the owners uh, have a tea stall, yeah? And the stall, tea stall is running by a woman, yeah? So it's very interesting in the context of Bangladesh, the woman can run a tea stall in a village market. The tea is still made on a wood fire, but with solar power for lights and a TV, business is booming. Having a solar home system, we can now open later and keep serving tea. We can also run a TV, so our customers can take tea and watch it. Uh, because uh, their uh, customer is increasing, yeah? their sale is increasing, yeah? so profitability is increasing. Yeah? According to their increasing customer, they are getting more benefit, yeah? they are uh, getting more income. The village pharmacist Shahid Sakar has also seen his business benefit. Sales have increased since I got solar electricity compared to before as I can stay open longer. At the same time I have a mobile phone which helps in my business as I can order more medicine from outside by phone. This compound houses a thriving handicrafts business and when night falls, the light means the women can carry on working. With the solar home system we can work for much longer, up to midnight or 1am and we can all work together in one place. A little further down the road, a family is about to get solar power for the first time and in less than an hour their kerosene hurricane lamp will be history. The kerosene lamp is dangerous because if it falls over it can start a fire. Also with kerosene I'm always having to clean the house. All the houses is now uh, covered by the carbons, yeah? So they are now free from the carbons. One of Grameen's strengths is its presence in many rural districts of Bangladesh. Its network of centres allows it to carry out vital training programmes for the women who are the main users of these systems. The men are always working outside and us women are always in the home. So if there is any problem with the solar home system, we have to deal with it. So if we know the problems and how to solve them, it really helps. We like to expand it. So now we have 168 offices right now. It will be 250 by end of the this year. So we like to open 200 technical centers like this, Grameen Technology Centre, women from that locality, they will maintain it, and they are from the community. Across rural Bangladesh, remote villagers are getting electricity for the first time. And it's not just lighting up their lives, it's expanding their ambitions. I would like to establish a garments industry so the women here can work, and they will be able to live their lives with dignity and honour, getting a fair price for their labour.